Hi Angel Elementary! Today we are going to be painting eagles. First I'll go over the materials that everyone will need. Follow along to make sure you're set up and ready to go. You should have your canvas, a big paintbrush, a small paintbrush, a paint palette, black paint, yellow paint, blue paint, and white paint. Go ahead and take a minute to set up your paint palette. I would recommend only pouring black paint for now because we will be taking a break to let our backgrounds dry before using any other colors. Once your black paint is ready, we are going to use our big brushes to paint the background. Let's start in the top left corner and paint from left to right. This way we won't accidentally get paint on our elbows. When you dip your brush in the paint, be sure that you don't scoop. We don't want to have too much paint on our brushes because then it will drip and glob up on our canvases. After the whole surface of the canvas is covered, we are going to lift it up slightly so we can paint all four edges. It's important to paint the edges too so when you hang it up on the wall the color wraps all the way around and looks complete. Once your whole entire canvas, including the edges, is black, paint a second coat. We want the background to be nice and dark so we can't see any white peeking out. The background has to completely dry before we can start the next step. Now would be a great time to pause the video and grab a snack or a drink. Use this time to get yourself some clean water for your brushes too. Once you can touch your canvas and no paint comes off on your hands, we can begin the next step. I recommend using pencil first for this next step. It's time to draw the outline of our eagle. Start with the beak and work your way around. If you need to erase, make sure you do it lightly so you don't erase any of the paint. Use jagged edges for the eagle's head to show its feathers. The neck of the eagle should connect to the bottom of the canvas. Go ahead and pour yourself some blue paint. We are all done with the big paintbrush so you can set that one aside. Make sure your small brush is dry and use it to create a thin blue outline of the eagle. It's important that the brush is completely dry because if we have extra water on our brushes, the paint gets really thin and doesn't do what we want it to do. Everyone's eagle will look different and that's why this project is so cool.
Now that we have our eagle outline, it's time to design our backgrounds. I recommend doing pencil first once again. This is where you can try something new and create your own unique background. You can paint stripes, swirls, leaves, flowers, or any sort of design you want. It's completely up to you. Just make sure that you only design around the eagle, not inside of it. Let your background design dry a little bit before moving on because we don't want to accidentally smudge it. To speed up the drying process, you can set your painting outside in the sun or use a hair dryer if you have one. After the blue paint is dry, we are going to use the yellow paint to create the beak and outer eye. Rinse off your small brush and dry it on your paper towel. To give this painting a lot of texture, we are going to keep working in thin lines. Start by creating the outline of the beak. Leave a little bit of black between the blue and the yellow. We are going to create two shapes for the beak, so follow along. 